Hey y'all, I am coming to you today to explain how to center words on your page. So this is the page that I'm going to use. I've stenciled out my lines with pencil so that I can erase them later. This is the verse that I want to place here and I want to center it on these lines. Now, you don't have to, you can eyeball it. I'll show you an example of a page that I eyeballed once upon a time and I hate this. I hate everything about this page. I always say this is my first page and this is my worst page. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't like what I was doing. I went over it again and it just kept getting worse, but I, <laughs> I didn't even spell this right. I just noticed that, but I save this because it's really not about my artwork, which is horrible. It's really about connecting with God. And this is a really good reminder for me to do that. But if you don't want to do stuff like, you know, if you want to set this out and be, do your best, this is why I'm doing this video. Okay. So in order to get everything centered on here, we're going to do samples. So here are the verses. I have them laid out how I want them worded down the lines. And we're going to be using examples of stamping or rubber stamps. We're going to use some stickers, some stencils, and some handwriting. So this is showing you exactly how to do all of these different techniques, these different ways to add text to your page, but get them all to line up on your page. So the easiest way to do that is to do a sample. So I've kind of already laid this out in my mind how I want to do it. I'm going to do all the gods and lords in this particular stamp. Okay. And is I'm going to use, because I don't have um, because I don't have a, a specific stamp for that, I'm going to use a stencil. I could just do this in handwriting, but I want to show you exactly how to do that. Our, I have as a stamp, so I'll use that. Okay, so this is how this is going to look. I'm okay with the spacing on this. So now I'm going to line these up on my line and do the same thing. Okay, so do I want to, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this this line here. Okay, so this next line is going to be a little bit trickier okay. because I'll just duplicate it. Uh, like this word isn't isn't spaced properly as I've written it out. So let's do let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna test it out on here first, and then. And then we'll write it out. So do like you that. see how right. this? And we're just going to go this. right down to the page. Salvation. This. I want to be and centered. This is going to help us that understand. Good. So I'm just exactly. going to write out. Maybe use it. Well, I'll use this one. Exactly where everything goes, and then we can line it up on our line and repeat this. Is I have the word ah. Uh. Okay, so this isn't like perfectly in line or anything, but it gives us the spacing of how it goes onto our line. So that is how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna repeat all of those things, but we're gonna do it on our Bible line. Okay. And I'm <clears throat> taking a look to make sure that I'm lining things up properly here before I'm laying it down on the line. Oops, that got a little wiggly. All right, it's fine, no big deal. And back to this one. Okay, and then I have the word of. So we're going to, this line is finished. We're going to move on to this one. And obviously salvation is prop. So the spacing of this and my written out word is going to be just fine. So what I want to do is take this and center it on this next line. So, and I'm eyeballing it, but that's okay. So if I see the, the, the center of this and the center of this line up, then we're good to go. So I'm going to just kind of keep my line straight there. 
and I'm going to write out the word salvation again. Okay. And have that word. Erase that word. Okay. Now here's the next one. Okay. So, and I made it, I wrote it. It's a little bit different, so we have to keep that in mind. I'm going to make a space here, and I'm going to start my word escape. Now, escape, I'm going to put into stickers. Here's how you do stickers, okay? Let me cover those up. Okay, so stickers usually come in a piece of cellophane like this, right? So we're going to take the word that we want, escape, and we're going to basically hang the letters half on and half off of this page. So we've got ES So I'm putting this so oh, we can see it's half off and half on the paper. Now if you were just doing one word and you weren't quite sure where to put this word the, the nice thing about doing it this way is that you can move this this um, piece of cellophane anywhere you want to to get an idea of where you want it on your page. Okay, so I, I know where we want ours, but here's our word. Now, if I wanted it over here, I can I can move this around, you know, in another in, an, in a different page. Let's say it's a different page, and I don't know where I want to put this word, and I can move it around to see where I like it best. But in this case, escape goes to about here. So here is the width of our word and we want to center that on this line. Now you can see this next line isn't even that wide. So now we have to improvise, okay? Let's do and on this line and that one we can kind of eyeball the center of it, right? So we're gonna do that and then escape, we're going to center onto this line. So, so what you do is you lay it down, you press down onto the top, that's still got the sticky side on it, and you very carefully pull out the bottom with the cellophane, and then just adhere them nice and tight. Okay, so that is how you do the sticker letters. All right, from death, I have a from. And I was going to write out death. So from fits about there and death fits about there. It looks like it should fit on that on this line. So let's put that there. Okay. Pen. And then belongs is another word that I wanted to do in stickers. And so I'm it actually might not even fit on here. I'll show you an alternative. Okay, so belongs, belongs, be, sorry if this gets a little tedious. These are definitely my favorite stickers, and they're from Kelly Perky, but they're just kind of wonky and fun. All right, so we're going to extend this. I'm going to just use this as a guide, and we'll just stick it there anyway. Okay, so I'm going to stick the top down, gently pull out the bottom. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> I've noticed that the camera stopped recording. And okay. so you kind of here missed really a little bit of the last part, but you kind of get the gist of. And then to the Lord, I got this I to, a little bit wonky. I can take an eraser and know. erase all of these lines I do have the, in that we have here. Okay, and, to, um, and, then and then we're the, done. We're going, I was going now, to do that. Now you can here. always turn Stand around and so. add your own thoughts to this, your own prayers, um, what this means to you. So, and um, that I'm just to me is one of the remember. most important um, things about doing we'll Bible journaling is that, write it that how, in, how does, in, in what the is the meaning behind why you chose this verse to the and Lord? And the Lord is one, well, everybody's got their own to do. So I'm not going to, 
And so I kind of flip them so it's on anybody else's block. thoughts or even impose and my I own on yours. But to... that is how we do it. And, okay, so, you know, Lord. I'll use a date stamp on this. And this is how this page turns out. Okay. So thanks for Again, watching. Again, centering it. So you can see that the width of this is way wider than this one. So I'm now going to adjust it and I'm going to do two and the on this line. So where'd my two go? Here it is. Two, so I've centered two and the here. Okay. The.